Yeah. Awesome. Hello, everyone. Um, and Ching, what a beautiful Hello. background you're in <laughs> there. Hi, yes. Um, I find a um, Airbnb slash hotel slash hostel. This is their restaurant, um, one of their restaurant space. And outside is the street. And yeah, no one is here right now. It's closed. So I, uh, asked, for the, I asked for the manager if I can use the space. Because in the lobby, it's a little noisy. But we have a beautiful it is It is very cinematic looking. I mean, it almost looks like it should be like you're in a movie right now, actually. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah you're right. Yeah, it's a very unusual uh, place. Uh, yeah, I'll, yeah I, I made a short actually uh, two days ago. I made a, what do you call it, live, uh, YouTube live uh, yes. to in introduce this place. It's very interesting. Oh, um, yeah, I can yeah. understand that. It, yeah. it kind of reminds me of something like um, from Knives Out or something. Like it's a very, very posh look uh, to it. Uh, very nice architecture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's kind of interesting. The furniture, the furniture maybe is a mission style. I'm not 100% sure, but it's kind of okay. have a, the old look. And, and the yeah, you can't really see it. Behind me is a big, big, big lobby. It's very, oh, wow. very nice. Very nice. Yeah, no, it looks gorgeous. So now that brings us to the question, why are you there? What brought you out <laughs> to this to this wonderful place? <laughs> well, this place is called Free Hand, Hand Free, Free Hand. Um, I just booked through Airbnb um, because it's slightly cheaper than all the restaurants, uh, all the hotels near the theater. So I'm coming here. Um, I live in New York City. I come here, and this is Los Angeles, uh, downtown Los Angeles. Um, uh, there is a film festival starts uh, on 21st of this this month, October. So it's it's been six days now. Uh, yeah, I'm here to attend uh, the festival, and also my film, my documentary called My Young Gun Diary, is going to show tomorrow night. Uh, at uh, 7.45. So the, the, the theater name is called Regal Cinema Alley Live. It's like a, a very kind of reputable, huge theater. Yeah. Yeah, I, I've been to that theater and it is truly an amazing theater. Um, have you ever had any of your films play on a screen or in a theater as big as the Regal <laughs> in Los Angeles? uh yes or no but not as big as los angeles one of my film called that moment it's a, a 13 minute short was shown actually at the new york city in the it's called bow tie cinema it's on 23rd street and 8th yeah. avenue yeah so that cinema probably have one two three uh theaters but this one has 14 theaters in one <laughs> space. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty that's exciting. Huge. Yeah. Let me huge. ask you this. Let me ask you this, Ching. Um, if there are people, because you said it's 7.45 p.m. PST yeah. tomorrow. PST. So yeah. being that's Wednesday, 7.45 PST? Yeah, Pacific time. At yeah. the Regal. So yeah. are if are, there are people who watch the stream and would like to come see your movie, on the big screen at the Regal, do yeah. you think it's still possible for them to get tickets? I think so. Um, they normally they're selling online. Uh, it's it's just go on awarenessfilmfestival.org, and uh, but I have a feeling if even if online is not possible the day, just come to the table. There is a table uh, at the entrance and you can come and I'm sure they'll be happy to accept your cash. <laughs> yeah. like, All right. So yeah, this is yeah. still America, right? <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's like a $20 a ticket, but if you are a veteran student or senior, it's 17. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Excellent. And, um, so now I, I have been fortunate enough to experience, um, my Yang gang diary. Um, and we kind of have a common interest in um, Andrew Yang. But for those who aren't aware of My Yang Gang Diary or Andrew Yang, 
can you kind of give us an idea of what we could expect if we, you know, if somebody does want to come out and see the movie? What is this movie about? What's 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 the big deal? <laughs> what's the big deal? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So the film is uh, considered a documentary. Uh, it's not a script. Um, it is about um, Andrew Yen running at 2020 running for president as a for primary as a, a democrat uh, candidate so i at the beginning was just following uh, some events i went to shoot events when people want me to shoot cuz i shoot a lot of live events and then um i was so taken by the people who supported him so uh, so i started to shoot more and more and more. It ended up, I um, I uh, follow the Yangon for about 11 months, went to 12 different cities and uh, 12 different cities. And uh, yeah, I, I ended up went to 12 cities. I followed Yangon for about 11 months and created this uh, work. Um, so it's about grassroots. Um, movement. It's about volunteering. It's about people care about the politics, especially young people. So I've followed uh, people who supported him. They call themselves Young Gen. It's kind of like a, a little rebel kind of name, right? Gen, yeah. usually when you hear Gen, it's like bat, you know, you're a gangster, you know, but they call them Young Gen and they're very dedicated to the movement. So I captured grassroots uh, movements. And I think I am the only one right now has a film out there is filming from Yangen uh, point of view, not following Andrew Yen as because he has professional cameras, crews follow him around. Uh, I am just sure. Following, yeah, the people. Yeah. The so, people that are behind part of this movement. Right. So in a way, it's like Andrew Yang is representing a movement that's happening anyway. Yeah. Like with or without Andrew Yang, this yeah. movement is, yeah. is is yeah. And what is the nature of the of that? You just because I because I know I, I know what it is. Yeah. But um, I don't know that everyone watching will know. Yeah. What Yang Gang stands for? Like, yeah. what do we believe in? Yeah. I consider myself Yang Gang also. Yes, you're a Yang Gang too. You yeah. are Atlanta Yang Gang. Um, yeah. Yang Gangs are people strongly uh, following Andrew Yang, chemist for, for, uh, for him. And one of the principal of Andrew Yang uh, was, um, he has a lot of good slogan, not left, not right, but forward. So mm. Andrew Yang is able to unite Republican and Democrat and everything in the middle and he does not believe you know uh you should be incredibly democrat and so he he, he he's very humanity uh first uh thinking uh he, now he he actually now left the democrat party do you know that he i was left, hearing this yeah he left on october 5th the day he published his fifth, uh, third book it's called forward now right party is called forward that's yeah. amazing yeah. yeah so um and then yangen also was for um ngn's one of the main policy is universal basic income which uh it is a benefit coming from government that giving people a sum of money for instance one thousand dollar a month under no condition everyone gets that money Mm -hmm. So, so a lot of young guns are for that. So I could just use that money and Netflix and chill all day long if I want to. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, but I don't think you will chill with that money. You can probably buy more, you know, equipment for your filming, or even get your teeth fixed if you have teeth problem. Or <laughs> So people think uh, people think that uh, some people think if you give people money for free and they are not going to work hard, but well, I'm sure there's people like that. But majority people still, you know, um, 
will wisely use the money either to save it or for their childcare, medic, you know, medi medic, medical expenses. And then remember, only 1% of this country people are wealthy. 99 fucking percent. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> 99 percent. <of> <laughs> <laughs> Close your poor. ears, children. Ninety nine percent is poor, and right. people actually, people a lot of people actually family their 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 belly can can feed their family. Yeah, especially that's, that's during, unbelievable. Yeah, especially during pandemic. So that and we so it's like we consider ourselves. Uh, we keep saying that we're like a first world country or something, yeah. but it it almost seems as though that may not not really be true. We're not no. all experiencing the wonders of the country. Yeah, I don't I don't think uh, we think we're the you know, superpower, right? But in some sense, maybe militarily, we are superpower. But, you know, imagine you just drop one, uh, you drop you drop one less bomb to someone some country and you can have like 10 or 20 symphonic orchestras. Yeah. <laughs> because so many right. orchestras hold it you know i mean I'm yeah a that's such a good point yeah I'm, yeah I'm very sensitive about arts you know so yeah. anyway shall we watch the two minute trailer yeah let's i i would love to get a picture of what okay. this okay. is going to be yeah okay I, yeah the trailer really really gives you a whole picture of the, the the whole thing and even the philosophy of universal basic income include that okay here. all right let's take a look okay A closing statement that was perfectly crafted got to his main stop and told you why he's different and why that's good and why it goes to the question of electability. Andrea. I am that candidate. I can build a much broader coalition to beat Donald Trump. It is not left, it is not right, it is forward. And that is where I'll take the country in 2020. <laughs> UBI is freedom. I'm American. Who wants a thousand dollars a month? Are you a registered Democrat, though? Yes. Show me what democracy looks like. You too, yeah. Once I started reading them, I couldn't put the book down. And everything you said in there makes complete sense. It happens. Sometimes this world is changing too fast. I can never find a moment that seems it's gonna last. Universal basic income, $1,000 a month, is something that's going to ultimately be necessary before long. I am trying to stay in Iowa for as long as Yang needs me. It's a little scary, but I can't wait to be here. Every door I knock on, I think about getting Yang to third, second, or first. We want Yang! Let him in! That's Israel. He's keep walking to another house to knock on doors to spread the word of Andrew Yang. Intense. Yeah. Norman, but he's like, you get off my fucking property. You have no right being on my fucking property. You Chinese people go back to fucking China. All three of us have different candidates we're looking to support. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, Andrew Yang is not one of them. We want Yang! Tomorrow is a big day. Primaries in New Hampshire. We're going to see if we can actually pick up some people, take them to the polls. You heard it! I am a little heartbroken. This is not the end. If I had a thousand dollars, it's a long time. <laughs> Gang 2020 placement. I like that. The the um, the uh, car. The um, yeah, license the license plate. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. <laughs> so awesome. That's exciting. Yeah. Thank Ching. you. Yeah. Thank I you. I guess you must be excited when you made the film. Uh, did you know that you were making a documentary feature 
And second follow on to that is once you knew that it was becoming a documentary feature, um, what are your plans now? Is this something that's going to make you rich? <laughs> I hope so. No, no. <laughs> it, 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 so the whole thing of journey is like a, like it transforms at the very beginning. Um, people ask me to go video the events because they know I am a videographer. And so I just start to video and about third week of into it, um, I read his book because I actually spend money. Uh, I spent $500 to go video Andrew Yen's, <laughs> Andrew Yen's fundraising event. <laughs> not only yeah. I'm not getting paid, I pay for it going. You're paying to do this, yeah. right? Yeah, because I, I cannot just go in there, you know. I'm, I'm not really CNN, you know, reporter, you know. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and that was a very important turning point because that event, only 20 people in a room, Princeton Club. So um, they served some food and drink and Andrew Yen appeared and we actually talked to Andrew Yen in a very near distance because sometimes you go to events, there's thousands of people, you can't really talk to him. So I talked to him a little bit and they gave us a book, The War on Normal People. After read that book, uh, I'm pretty much sold. So after that event, that was June 4th, 2019. I remember that day because June 4th, the Tiananmen Square, um, uh, mm. celebrate, you know, the Memorial Day. So yeah, yeah. After that, I just kept filming and kept filming. So I would go looking for events to go now. Not people ask me to go, and so I still didn't think I was making a documentary. I just, every event, I make a short video. So I have probably 100, 200 short videos on my YouTube channel, which is called yeah. Jewel Media. Yeah. Okay. So you actually can see a lot of work already there. But in the end, after going to 12 oh. cities um, in 11 months, almost a year, yeah. um, then, I then pandemic came. Pandemic uh, came, I have nothing to video, right? He already dropped yeah. out. He yeah. dropped out. Ironically, Darren, he yeah. dropped out on February 11. And the pandemic lockdown is like March 14. Right. Like a month later. It's interesting timing, right? <laughs> yeah. Wow. And Donald Trump already, like very soon, started giving people money. It's like the UBI. Yes, I remember. It felt like it was exactly what Andrew Yang was telling us yeah. that needed to happen. Yeah. And now Trump was doing it. it. Almost like he took the idea from Andrew Yang and just did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's smart. So so I started to edit um, like 200 hours of uh, footage. And it took a long time for me to figure out how to make a feature you know, a long one. Yeah. yeah. So the first, the first assembly after all the, you know, eliminate all the stuff I cannot have, lots of interviews. In Iowa, I interviewed 40 people, 40 young men. Mm. I sat them down, interviewed t uh, 10 minutes to half hour. Yeah, so I get to know them very well. So anyway, so the first assembly was six hours and then it cuts down <laughs> and down. <laughs> now it's eight. Wow. You had a six hour edit of this? Yeah. Wow. And then now it's finally down to what, what's the length right now? 81, 81 minutes. Yeah. Okay. 81 minutes. All right. So that's, that's more like a normal kind of documentary feature length, right? Yeah. And do you feel like you lost a lot by cutting it down or are you happy with the runtime for I telling would, the story? I think I could tell more. I would like to do it mm -hmm. one hour and a half, one hour, 40 minutes. But okay. I do, I do uh, want to not bore people because everything to me makes sense, not to everybody else. So it is a very, you have to be very cruel of cutting things out because you cannot be sentimental. If, if I mm. want to be sentimental, the movie would be fucking three hours. <laughs> right, right. No, that's, yeah, it's the hard kind of choices that you have to make.
And yeah. I guess the one hour twenty, uh, one hour twenty one, probably makes it easier to for people to program like this festival. Yeah. Um, yeah. So tell us about the festival and how you found out about this festival and how did you find out that you would be coming to Los Angeles? Yeah, um, I think I applied for film festivals uh, maybe March of this year. Uh, the film is was kind of so-called ready on January 4th. That's my birthday, actually. I intentionally set a deadline. Otherwise, I will never finish, you know, when I'm editing. Yes. It took me seven months to edit the work. So January 4th, I had a little party uh, on YouTube for Yang Gan. And so a lot of people already saw it. And then I think after that, I did a little tweet, you know, a little bit changed here and there. I added more a uh, narration because okay. some Yang Gan said, um, we want to know you because the title is called My Yang Gan Diary. So we want to yes. know who you are. So I added a more narration. Normally when I make films, I do not like to talk. I do not like adding my own talking heads, you know? Mm. So this is very different, but I think it worked because the title, yeah, yes. it worked. So I, I give people a little picture of who am I, where I come from, what, what I, I have done, you know, and told them I was never politically sensitive before until, yes. in Japan, you know. So what was your question? <laughs> yeah, and then so uh, uh, tell oh, us about this about festival it. and yeah. how you got to be. Yeah, so there. I started to apply for uh, a few festivals and then um, this uh, awareness, I probably just saw this on, um, uh, film freeway and I don't really remember like why because a lot of time it just pops out on my screen says this festival the deadline is coming you better you know I think one of the reason is because they program things oh sorry I have a lot of sunshine yeah. <laughs> sorry they program things uh like more uh, this awareness festival one thing i think it is very suitable for our film is because they program uh uh subject has to do with environment maybe L lgbtq mental health um politics and so these are kind of like they they don't they i don't think they program uh I don't know action movies or you know <laughs> right <laughs> but yes. although i saw I, I saw a horror horror movie last night oh, 20 minutes. okay you did really, see one okay really good but it's mainly uh, a a about mental health but right he, he incorporated the horror subject it was such a well done it's called matter m-a-t-e-r mortis so i made a friend okay. with the film number, yeah so uh the the guy the actor is so cute so i took a picture of him with my iphone like just like a portrait <laughs> model. and i i put it on my instagram yes. so you can see him his name is wait jose yeah but anyway robert yeah i'll, I'll, I'll go back but anyway mm. so awareness film festival they their program is is very uh socially uh, conscious program okay uh, I saw so yeah. many. One one day, I saw five movies about mental healthness and suicide. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> "Oh my goodness!" <laughs> so anyway, yeah. So then, so hopefully, I, but, they're, yeah, they they are they're serving some kind of uh, drinks there, so you can take your mind off some of these things. <laughs> because yeah. that's movie. a lot. Sometimes, if I watch one movie about suicide, that's a yeah. lot for me in no, one day. So you know yeah wow like, that's amazing yeah. <laughs> so and and while you're at the festival have you been able to connect with other filmmakers that are telling similar yeah, you know yeah. stories to yourself yeah yeah um there i try to make connections on each event i go either is lunch with uh, other film festivals or at the beginning, there's a so-called like ceremony, uh, like an opening. And so even if you only, I, my philosophy is even if you just meet one person in each event, it's worth it. Because you cannot yeah. possibly meet 10 people or remember all of them, you know? 
Yes, yeah. yes. Sometimes it's better to have like less people, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so make a better I, connection. Yeah. Mm. So, so I met, uh, I, I, I met several people. Actually, did some uh, good connection, and I would also interview audience, talk about their film, and I already posted this one film called Failure to Protect. It's really, really wonderful documentary. It, it's this guy from Los Angeles. Uh, his home is from, from uh, San Diego. His mother, father, okay. His mother is very vocal. So when I met her in the event, because Kim and I, we did Jeremy. Jeremy, the director, and I, we did a, a, a panel together, talk about okay. social issues. So I get to meet his mother. And I said, and she asked me, what's your film about? I said, Andrew Yen. And she said, oh, I like Andrew Yen. So we talk about UBI. And then she starts, like, goes on about UBI for a while. I said, stop. Yeah. So I <laughs> filmed her. Can I film you? So yeah. her two minute, like 30 or 40 seconds of talking about UBI now is on my Instagram, on my, on my YouTube. Oh, she, my goodness. That's very exciting. Vocal. Yeah. She is a yeah. social worker, PhD social worker. So yeah. I just ask her, do you think people are going to be lazy if they get money? And she went out, went out for three minutes, says no. <laughs> there's no <Yeah>. evidence. <laughs> yeah, there's no evidence. That's so right. So I yeah. also, yeah, I'm going to interview more uh, uh, filmmakers. Like, I, I don't know. I just thought it's nice for me to have, for me to learn them, right? And then giving them an opportunity to appear on my YouTube because not everyone brings their old press with them. There's no press to cover. Right, right. So I'm kind of like an unofficial press, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that helps you with, with yeah, connecting with, with folks yeah. and, and getting them to speak more. So, yeah. so you know, and the funny thing about that, that comment about um, uh, UBI specifically yeah. is, you know, the, the impression that I have is that if it kind of goes hand in hand with education as well, mm -hmm. I, I think when people are educated, mm -hmm. they 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 you know if you make education easier to access, I also think people will, will have a tendency to be less lazy because it's mm -hmm. almost like the more they have feeding information into their brain, it like energizes you to do something, you know, like yeah, uh, yeah. you know. But yeah, so okay, that's great that you're uh, making those kinds of uh, connections. And what what else is exciting for you next um, for the festival? I know your your film is showing tomorrow. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. But uh, what other events are still upcoming later this week that you're looking forward to? Oh, I hold on a second. I have a question for you. I have a, a question for me. Yeah, I have a <laughs> nightmare. Is that okay? My DCP was made by a person I met on Clubhouse. Uh, his name is. Uh, uh, Miguel, 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 okay. Miguel Rodriguez. Um, so I gave him only the file of H uh, two sixty four uh, compressed one where we put on Vimeo or YouTube. It's only eight eight gigabyte, less than eight gigabyte. So you said, I think once I ask you, what I worry about is I have no control of what that DCP look like uh, based on that. Because I, I, I talk to other filmmakers, they say you should give them a 422 uh, uh, Pores, Pores file, which is like 110 gigabyte. Uh, I did not do that because uh, he said eight is maybe okay. So tell me, don't worry, because I worry it's not going to be good enough. Yeah. Um, well, well, there's one way uh, is to test. I mean, did they, did they let you see it beforehand at all? Like no, just they, the they, file? they said they they hire simply simple DCP, uh, they test it. So I was I asked the the house manager. I say, is it possible for me to see a little bit? He said yeah. you have to ask the festival. So I went to ask festival. Festival say, oh, uh, you know, simple DCP already tested, so looks fine. So, but I still worry because I'm a control freak, you know. I need to. No, see. I think you're right. To, you're a filmmaker. I think you're right to be a control freak, and uh, I think it's it's still worth pushing to. Even if you're not able to change anything now, maybe it's too late. But 
I one, I think it will look fine because I think you've seen it before on your own, right? Before sending it, mm -hmm. and it looked good, right? Mm -hmm. But two, uh, I I definitely advocate pushing to see it in the theater that it will actually be played because there are other things like sound. Will they turn the sound up too loud? Um, I was at a festival screening or screening a couple of days ago where they, this, the, I know the film was made well, mm -hmm. but when they played it, they turned the sound up too loud. Yeah. And yeah. so it was like, and it made it feel like, uh, I can't hear what's going on, you know? And it looked amazing, but you couldn't hear. Yeah. And I know that it wasn't the filmmakers because I've seen the film myself yeah. Yeah. with good sound. Yeah. So a lot of times it's the theaters. So I think it's worth to push. Yeah, I think it's normal. And okay. you, you have to just, you have to just push. I <laughs> just don't listen to what they say. Tell them I want to see this thing before it. I'll say my normal. producer, my producer, Thierry yes. Gaudu, want, want me to make sure. <laughs> yeah, wants me to make sure. I just want to see if the sound and I and 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 the and the color. I just want to see if it's really gonna be true to the actual film. Yeah. So that I'm ready for it. You know, just tell them that and make them do it. Even if you have to go um, buy the uh, projectionist, uh, you know, buy him something, a, a candy bar or something, find out what he likes or she likes. Oh, buy him a popcorn. <laughs> yeah, get them some popcorn or something, you know, the, the, with the candy on it, the caramel yeah. popcorn. <laughs> Just say, look, what do you yeah. like? You know, yeah, yeah. I'll get you some yeah. of that while we watch the movie together. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What was your question earlier? Oh, what's next? Um, yeah, like what else you are yeah. looking for to uh, this week in the festival? Oh, the festival. Um, I will just keep after Wednesday. I will keep watching other people's work because I'm gonna be here till the end. And on thirty first is the is the award ceremony, and I don't know. I hope I win something. I don't know, but if I don't. I won't cry, you know, <laughs> because the film already won three best feature documentary in three countries. Uh, That's amazing. Yeah, we won a uh, Toronto documentary film festival. We we won uh, best feature doc at the Rome International Film Festival, and then we won an international film festival, Manhattan. And wow. Yeah, that director himself is. is he said he's a Yang Gang too. <laughs> so yes, <laughs> I believe Yang Gang is going to keep on growing. So, yeah. are there? Do you have an idea um, for making more Yang Gang related uh, stuff now that he's created a yeah. new party and everything? Yeah, it, it'll be interesting to 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 maybe do a little bit. Um, I I actually have some footage of him running for uh, a new New York City mayor. Mm. Yeah, and I, it would be a different kind of angle, like look into, like why he lost, you know? Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, <laughs> they say you should say two time losers. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. But uh, oh, John Drew is there. Um, what time is your film showing at Eastern time? It will be fuck juice up. 10 45 eastern time yeah so yeah, yeah. excellent uh, yeah and and oh, i so there is an online component to be able yeah. to watch the film. oh yeah sorry I okay forgot. yeah you okay. can also watch uh i think you have to buy tickets you have to watch uh, you can watch online yeah but oh I wow haven't, i haven't seen the online you know uh got you yeah the, but the q a they, they would screen i guess they will screen the q a as well uh yeah online. very very okay. good uh Every time when uh, each film finishes, um, there's a Q and A. So oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, and so they actually live streaming Q and A. They live streaming Q and they live stream panel. Um, yeah. So they, I think they have a way of playing the film. Even if you buy the ticket, say today, and you can watch tomorrow all day. So okay. Yeah. Oh, the that's next fantastic. Day all day. Yeah. Great. So, other things I'm going to do, I haven't seen much anything about Los Angeles. I just yeah. go from hotel to theater, theater back to hotel. So maybe <laughs> maybe sometime today. It was amazing. Yesterday, it was raining. They haven't oh, okay. had rain in spring. So it was really right. very cold. 
So I may do some kind of like a touristy thing, like a get on those bus, you know, double deck bus. Right, touring yes. Bus. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be a great. Yeah. And Los Angeles is beautiful almost yeah. all year round. So yeah. that should be wonderful. Yeah. 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 Well, so tell me, tell me you tell, tell us a little bit, uh, your school on Clubhouse. That's how we met. Oh, for sure. I mean, yeah, it's always been great to, to build this relationship with you, Ching, uh, because, you know, we connected on Clubhouse. Um, I, I run a school on Clubhouse called the Darian Danju One Minute Film School. Um, we uh, just had a number of submissions for this month um, where, you know, filmmakers made one minute films focusing on table for two, which is just a conversation between two characters. And um, yeah, so anybody who's interested in making films and becoming a great filmmaker like Ching, you're welcome to come onto Clubhouse uh, and, and join some of those rooms. Uh, Movie Makers is the name of the club and Darian Donji One Minute Film School is the name of the rooms that we run as part of that club. But um, and we also do um, smartphone uh, filmmaking, uh, this Ching's room, and I'm part of that on Fridays. And so, yeah, Clubhouse has been a great way to meet great people like Ching and also to get a lot of knowledge and information because of these rooms um, that, that we're hosting where people ask questions, share knowledge and information. Um, so, yeah, it's been a breath of fresh air for sure. Um, my, the, the, that's the most valuable app for me in 2021, for sure. <laughs> There's yeah, no other yeah. app that has changed my life as much as Clubhouse. And you're you're so popular, and um, and you're also a great moderator. I'm just looking right now. Um, first of all, your club is a movie maker. Is like last time I checked, five point six k people. Wow, members. that's amazing! <laughs> wow, look at that. That's a, yeah. That's pretty amazing. I know, I know. And, and then your you have how many followers? Like. Last time was eight. Do you remember? Uh, yeah, it could be. It, it's it's always changing. Yeah. yeah. Let, me change Let me see. So, eight point two k followers. Wow. How'd you That's do that? That's amazing. Wow, I don't know. I I didn't know there were that many people who knew who I am. <laughs> yeah, but it's awesome because it's it's Clubhouse has actually started just on the app. Yeah. But it's it's bled over into real life for me, you know. It's it's really. I met William Andre Buchanan, you know yeah. who you know, of course. Right. And here was here in Atlanta, yeah. And I was just shooting recently with um, Reginald. Reg Reginald. Yeah, yeah. He he. We shot together every single day for the mm -hmm. whole week on a big project uh, yeah. I was on, and um, you know. So it's you know I I like that that Clubhouse is becoming. Uh, integrated with real life now. So it, yeah. at the beginning, it was like, is this a real thing? Like, you know, yeah. but clearly yeah. it is a real thing. So yeah. Um, yeah, it's wonderful. Anybody who's watching, if you're not already on Clubhouse, come on and join us in smartphone filmmaking or in Darian Danju One Minute Film School. And and uh, yeah, we would love to welcome you to into that community as well. So when is the uh, the October 24th deadline is on meet, meet and when is the uh judging process when 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 this announcement so this um they just turned in their films on sunday by midnight oh. um and then the judging process will all happen this week so oh. most likely um this weekend then we will have uh we will have some new a new winner for wow. this month yeah wow. it's it's very exciting yeah yeah mm. i can't wait to see did, did yeah. you have did you have a lot of a uh, submission um, I still have to go look again at okay. the folder because the number kept changing. Okay. Um, but I we definitely have some good quality submissions for yeah. sure. That's great. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. yeah. It's a it's a really yeah, people just love it and uh, they're really learning it, you know. And Oh I, my goodness, they're getting so much better. Yeah. I I I I don't know. I, I don't think <laughs> I don't think I will ever make one because your standard is so high. <laughs> Oh no, your your standard is, is, is crazy high, Ching. I think you would definitely kill it. I, I may try to, depending on it, I may bring back the table for two, oh. um, depending on how it goes, because I do think that one is, you know, anybody who's making films, 
conversation between two people is the most important thing that is in all films, right? They, yeah. I've never seen a film that doesn't have some kind of conversation between yeah. two people. It, it, yeah. it's, it's, it's the most important aspect of life. It's how we go through life. We have these relationships that are one-on-one. -on -one. We yeah. are having a conversation right now, right? Which yeah. is two, two people. So it, it's a normal human thing. Right. So I, I think I'm pretty strongly thinking I'll probably run it again um, oh, so good. that people get that part down. Yeah. I, I thought about you when I was watching a film just two days ago. It's yeah. very powerful. It's called I Am Here. It's not, okay. a, it's, a, it's a narrative, a short, mm -hmm. and it's a woman that uh, was being locked in the room, you know, by bad guys. And mm -hmm. then she is talking with someone through the window, like uh, the inmate, the next inmate. Um, mm -hmm. so it's that conversation. So I was like, yeah. that, that's also. That's like, that's yeah. table for two absolutely yeah. yeah 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 that's a perfect example yeah, yeah. and there's a lot of tension and excitement yeah. around it right you can see the other party you know just the one yeah. person yeah yeah that's amazing i love that yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's very spooky very spooky and you know for the lighting they did i think it's a black and white they did it yeah mm. yeah. yeah but anyway so yeah so yeah i i feel very uh fortunate and also i am you know addicted to clubhouse <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah yeah i mean we, we've met a lot of great people and, and yeah. we met we met through clubhouse so yeah and then that's we a met in person too yeah like, yeah i met you in new york and yeah and yeah. i'm sure we'll meet meet more in person you know just yeah. just like everything else so because uh, to me you're just a friend now right i mean it's yeah. like it's <laughs> not like a clubhouse friend like in the beginning right it's like mm -hmm. you're just like become a real friend so um <laughs> <laughs> yeah Thank you so much. It's not much. like a yeah. fake friend. At the beginning, you yeah. think that these people are like fake because you only <laughs> see their icon, right? You, you yeah. just see like, <laughs> like, are they really real or is somebody yeah. playing a trick on me? You know? I know. Um, I know. Yeah, yeah. But, so, well, Ching, um, yeah. it's it's been a pleasure to speak with you. And you. Um, I, I'm not surprised at all that your film is getting the kind of attention that it's getting. I'm glad that festivals are inviting you to uh, be able to share it. Because for me, I think the message is is very important. And as you see, it's created a whole new party, right? You wouldn't have known when you were filming this that Andrew Yang would move on to create a new party and new potential for future. We don't know what's going to happen next, right? Yeah. But it is very exciting, and we do want America to go forward. Yeah. So um, I thank forward. you for, yeah, forward. That's what we need to do. Yeah, it's exactly. And uh, yeah, and, 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 and your film is helping to shed a light on a community of people who really believe in this. And, and I think that are not represented by the two party system, really, you know, e even within the Democratic Party, which most Yang Gang people are like, we're kind of like a subsection of, mm -hmm. I don't feel like the Democratic Party fully embraced the, 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 the real need to, to really move this country. Right. Uh, in an aggressively forward direction. Um, mm -hmm. And so I'm glad that he started his own party and I'm glad that you're making films and paying, bringing attention. So thank, thank you, you for spending time with me. Thank you for helping me. Thank you so much. Of course, yeah. Jane. All right. So I'll have more to report um, a few days. And then until then, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And thank you so much. And I'll probably see you, hear you tomorrow. Yeah, you're going to have a meeting tomorrow? Yeah, I, I hope, if I'm lucky, we can do the watch party tomorrow already. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So this is amazing. I am in Los Angeles. You're in Atlanta, <laughs> Georgia. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And in between. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Darian. Yeah. Thank you, Ching. Have yeah. a great day. Keep Did you enjoy the festival? And I hope yeah. everybody enjoys your film tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to show my audience uh, a little bit, just like two minutes of the lobby, okay? All right. I'll All right, bye, everybody. Yeah. All right, bye-bye. Thank you, Darian. Yep. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so I'm going to show you just uh, quickly uh, what is this place. So this is a very – they let me use this uh, restaurant. Right now it's not open yet. So uh, I'm walking towards the lobby
It's very dark. Yeah, there's a lot of a uh, place for people to sit. Um, and the light fixture is very interesting. And then this guy is doing life, looks like. Yeah. So this place is a hotel, Airbnb, and um, what do you call? Hostel. Okay, so I am going to end the session. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, wish me good luck tomorrow for the screening, and uh, hopefully the film will win something. But I'll keep you um, noticed. Okay. Bye now.